Okay, we're back in the conservatory and we've potted on this fuchsia uh, and uh, as I've mentioned in the last video, we made it quite, it's quite a leggy plant because we're wanting to get some cuttings from this. We want to turn one plant into at least two plants, hopefully three plants. So the first thing I'm going to do is get another container ready. I've already filled this one with compost. I've striped off the top of it so it's level with the pot and I just tap it down on a surface to get rid of the air bubbles. All those air bubbles in the compost, if you put the roots, uh, if you put a cutting or a little plant in that, then what you'll find is that the air around it means that the cutting can't take up water and you get a stagnant area and the cutting will probably fail. So that little tap down is always good when you're potting on, but you don't want to push and press it down and compact the soil. So that's enough about that. The other thing that I've done is I, uh, I've warmed up my compost. I've had it in the conservatory for a little while so that, uh, um, uh, so that it's not all cold and horrible, which wouldn't be very nice, would it? So now I'm going to be quite brutal here. I'm going to cut this plant, uh, this stem. Uh, here we go. Underneath, can you see I'm cutting it underneath a, uh, a joint there or a node? Off it comes. And here we have it. So now, I've done that with a pair of secateurs. A lot of people find it's easier to use a little craft knife, which could use a, a little craft knife or a pruning knife. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to take off uh, everything here above that joint, apart from one leaf. I'm going to keep one leaf there. Now, there's going to be new growth starting up there. And down here, I'm going to cut off these little side leaves here. Now where I'm cutting these off, like that, that's where the roots are going to develop. So that is now ready to be a cutting. Now you could use a little bit of um, rooting powder if you wanted to, but to be honest, for something like this little fuchsia, I think it's going to root perfectly well without. Uh, some people even say you could, you could use a bit of spit or something. But I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to put it straight into my nice warm compost. I've made a little hole for it. I'm making sure that that joint, that node, is well in the compost. This doesn't need to be as big as this pot. I could have used a little cell. But basically, I'm now going to look after that, have a little chat every day with my, my new fuchsia. And in about a month's time, this should be quite a healthy little plant. It's end of March at the moment, keeping him in the conservatory out of the frost, and we'll have a really nice fuchsia for the summer. Good display in the summer. So let's make a few more of those. Thank you. This video was uploaded during the COVID-19 lockdown, but we're hoping to be able to welcome you to Stansted Park very soon. We're a gateway to the South Downs National Park with some fantastic walks, as well as all the attractions of Stansted Park which make a great day out for the whole family. Hope to see you very soon.